Hi, my name is Miranda, and I have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> a thrifting problem. But if you watched my last video, I actually got in the comments with some of my friends, and we decided that thrift shopping is therapy. So I'm just going to therapy, that's all. Does anybody remember this? We had so many of these at our house growing up. Oh. Never in my life have I seen one of those. Really cool. But 20 bucks, no thanks. This looks pretty cool. And it actually looks like it's never been used. This is still free. Still all regular packaging. The original packaging, I mean. And yes, I still have paint by myself. <laughs> Who remembers TV stands? That's what we call them, TV stands, I think. It doesn't sound right. I'm not sure what we call them. TV tables? Something like that. Who had those? Mine didn't have fancy pictures on it. It was just brown. But we ate TV dinners on them in front of <laughs> the old box TV. I'm not alone. I know I'm not. Coronavirus, right? It's here. It's happening. It's not leaving yet. But um, some people may have been a little concerned because I am going shopping for fun, um, you know, to entertain myself, which I am not the only one who does that. I know we all do it a little bit. Um, when this whole outbreak started, we were at home. We did nothing. We had no fun. We stayed home together, played cards, you know, we didn't even see our family. Um, I only went on supply runs for groceries and that was it and I was sweaty and a hot mess the whole time. Um, but now, so I live in New Brunswick, there's about 800,000 people here in New Brunswick and we have, I think it's 168 cases. So 800,000 people, 168 cases and right now, while I'm filming this video, we have one active case in New Brunswick. So. Yes, I know it's real. Trust me, I know. My husband's a paramedic. I get it. I know it's very real and very scary, but right now it's not super scary here in New Brunswick. And actually, um, the governments from all of the um, Atlantic provinces here in Canada, uh, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, PEI, and us in New Brunswick, we have all created this little Atlantic bubble. So we are actually allowed to travel province to province and um, we're allowed to do stuff for fun. Like the water parks are open, um, you know, things that you, you still have to socially distance. Don't get me wrong, you still have to socially distance. You still have to wear the mask. You still have to be cautious and you should be, but we're allowed to do stuff. So yay for doing stuff. Anyways, that was really quick, maybe too long. I don't know, explanation of um, what's going on here in New Brunswick. And also I'm still praying for all my friends. I know some of you guys are in really, um, scary situations with your state or your province or wherever you are. I know I have a friend from Italy as well. Um, so I'm thinking of all of you guys and we're praying for you guys and we're praying for a miracle that this will be over, so especially like, can you just please be over before school starts again? <laughs> I want a miracle, okay? I know God can do miracles, big things can happen, and that's what I'm praying for because September doesn't sound very fun right now <laughs> for back to school. So let me get everything out of the bag and I will show you all of my fun finds. Okay, I got everything out of the bag. And while we're on the subject of God, I found this really cute, um, I'm gonna say really cute probably a lot in this video, um, this really cute um, canvas sign that says, all things are possible with God. And I know that for sure. And this baby was only $2.99 and it's in really great condition. Honestly, it looks brand new. So this is going to find a home somewhere in my house. Absolutely. It's a great reminder. Um, while Winnie is outside playing with her brothers, I want to show you something that I picked up for her. Look at this. I think I showed this in the clips um, while I was shopping. But this little gem was $3.99. I swear to you, it was not opened. It's brand new. And um, I'm going to give this to Winnie as a prize for not peeing in her diaper at nighttime. Woo! <laughs> 
more on that in a minute. Um, I found, finally, Ladder 49. This is a really good movie, especially if your husband's a firefighter, which mine is, and he absolutely loves watching firefighter movies. So we've had Ladder 49, we still have it, but it is so scratched that we really can't watch it because it like skips all around and it's really a pain. It's not on iTunes, I can't find it on Amazon, and I have been looking while I've been out thrifting, and I found this for $3.99. So I was super happy. We're gonna watch this very soon. Um, it's got Joaquin Phoenix and Jean Travolta, if you didn't know. So it's really cute. Um, and while I was looking through the DVDs, I found this one, which is actually from 1998. My son's looking in the window at me. Hi, Skylar. <laughs> um, I've never heard of it before. 1998, I was like, I'm not good at math. I graduated in 2003, so still in middle school. Anyway, so definitely was not watching these types of movies then, but we're going to watch this one too. Curtis thinks it sounds really cool. So, mommy for the win, or wifey for the win. Okay, um, that was also $3.99. So, um, I'm actually in the process of um, renovating my bathroom, and I am filming it, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing after it's done. I'm still working on it, um, but the painting and stuff is all done, so it looks so good, and I can't wait to show you. Um, I just need a little help making some shelving, so Curtis is going to help me do that when he has a minute, but he's working, 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 working. Actually, today he's um, swabbing for coronavirus at the truck scales, so that's kind of fun. Don't worry, he's wearing all the things. Um, so I found a few things that I might want to put in my new bathroom. This little baggie here was $2.99. I absolutely love going through that little baggie section. It's so fun. Um, so I found two of these little, here, let me take them out and show you. This is kind of fun, actually, because I forget some of the stuff that I got. So I got this little plant. It's obviously fake, but they're cute. And I don't know, is this lavender? I thought that was really cute, too. And it's purple. Um... And I found another thing like that, another little bag. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use. I just, this was kind of my vision I saw, and I thought if I can find some of these little things at Value Village, even better, save them from the landfill, and um, get something for a deal, so great. Um, $3.99 for this bag. Let me rip, or, ooh, let me rip it open and show you. Okay, there's this little cute little dish, and I think this is Fiddleheads. Um, anyways, so I could put something in that. I don't know. Um, mainly I bought this bag for the little plants again that were in here. So there's this little cute, like, aloe, fake aloe vera plant with a little white, um, pot, which is cute. And then, oh, I'm going to say cute a lot. Sorry, guys. And this little plant, too. And I don't even know, like, girl, I'm not even going to use this. I don't know. I don't know. But... Whatever, it was in the bag, so a little special treat, and oh, I didn't even know. Okay, I wondered what this was. This is just like a little dish, and maybe it matches that, because it kind of looks like Fiddleheads too. I don't know. You will have to watch my bathroom renovation on a budget video coming up soon to find out what I do with those things. Okay, so I also found, and once I found this, I'm like, you're coming home with me, little Jasper cute little stinking golden retriever um figurine and it's not damaged at all it's super cute and oh i'm sorry i want to stop saying cute um a dollar 99 for this guy so now all i need is to find a black lab so the brothers can be together which will be fun so if you wonder why i have to drink all the time my medication gives me what i like to call beach mouth so my mouth gets so dry that I literally feel like oh, I'm gonna puke. So I drink a lot now, water. I drink a lot of water. Um, I found this for a good price, $1.99. I know it's kind of a weird thing to buy, but we have a pool, if you've been keeping up. Um, we have a pool and Curtis needs to use a measuring thing for some of the chemicals that we put in it and he's been using my Pyrex one and then I just wash it really good but <laughs> I don't think I've used it for anything in cooking while he's been using it but we always wash it but now this one's gonna stay in the shed so he can have his own and he can leave my good one alone um, 
So I found this for Winnie. Um, I just gave this to her and she was super excited to have it. Um, we have like a pretty big dollhouse, but it has no furniture. And I don't even know if it was meant to be for um, Barbies, but that's what we're using it for. So, cause the Barbie house is like, we have the Barbie RV and it's so flimsy, it's annoying. I think like the way they make new toys is so cheap that nothing lasts. So I'm looking at secondhand shops to find the good old stuff from when I was a kid playing with Barbies. Hey, you know what I used to have? A little bit of new kids on the block Barbies. <laughs> yes, I was born in 85, honey. <laughs> so this is really cute. Look, oh, sorry if I said the cute word again. Um, it's got like food in it and she also has like little pieces of food and stuff um, downstairs in the playroom. So she was really happy to have this and it was only $1.99. And I've actually been looking on um, Amazon to see if I could find some Barbie furniture and it's so expensive. It really is. So I'm really happy. I've been finding little things. I got a bed last time I went thrifting. And I'm going to keep going for it. And once I find everything and get the house set up beautifully, I will show you. All right. Now, this I was really happy to find. This is for Mama. Look at this. This is a little tote bag or purse. Maybe somebody would use it as a purse for $2.99. It's got my favorite color, purple. And it's Joe Fresh. And it's great condition. Honestly, like... This was probably at least $20. Um, I love it. I'm gonna use this all the time. Perfect beach bag or just go in a town bag, even a purse, honestly. $2.99, friends. I am never spending money on a purse full price ever again. Thrifting only. Um, so, we already talked about Winnie's diapering needs for at nighttime. Um, some people just wet the bed for a little longer than others, and that's fine. She is totally potty trained she's five and a half like she's fine but at night if she sleeps really really heavy like if she um, is in a really really deep sleep and maybe she had too much to drink before bed there's going to be a little accident so she's still been wearing um night timers we call them it's basically like a big pull up and the way we're doing it now is like a little reward system so when she has um 10 nights of dry diapers then she gets a prize so right now she needs oh two more dry diapers because she had a dry diaper last night. So she only has two more sleeps and two more dry diapers until she gets her next prize. And oh, her next prize. Let me show you this first. Her next prize. I don't think she'll hear this. Winnie, if you're watching or listening, get away from the screen. Um, her next prize is makeup. So I've been buying makeup from Dollarama, makeup brushes. She's super obsessed with makeup. She loves to do um, her own face herself and she's actually really cute at it. So I found this little makeup bag, um, only $1.99. And this was cheaper than buying one at the Dollarama and this is Lancome and I like that brand. Um, anyways, so she can put all her things in there and she'll be super happy. So. All the makeup and makeup brushes I bought was new because I don't think you should share that. But makeup bag will be fine. I'll clean it off. Um, and also, I was super friggin' stoked for this find. Bam! Diapers, okay? These are the night timers. Um, yes, there's a little boy on it. And I showed Winnie and I was like, I found these for you for a really good deal. And she was like, oh, cute. I love blue. She didn't even notice the boy. So we're fine. Um... $2.99 for that. I mean, when I buy, normally this isn't the brand that I buy. This is President's Choice, which is a Loblaws brand. I have Superstore here. Some of you have No Frills, and I know there's other names, but um, normally I buy Huggies, I think. I don't know. It's Elena of Avalor is on the cover. I can't remember the brand, but it's a purple box, and it's $37 for this many diapers. $26, or maybe $28, but $37. And this is $2.99. So I'm super happy with that find. That literally saved me money. Um, okay, let's see where am I going. Oh, we only have a few more things left. One thing I can't show you because it's for my sister Kimber for her birthday. And she watches these videos. So you're going to have to wait till September, Kimber. Um, but my plan to try and do Christmas um, more affordably this year and to give 
presents, you have, yes, that's Jasper barking at the kids outside, I'm sorry. Um, to give presents and not feel overwhelmed with debt after Christmas, I am going to be thrifting from here on out and trying to find things, thrifting, thrifted things for my friends and family for Christmas. And of course, I'm only going to find things that I think people would really love. So I found this and I absolutely had to get it. Um, it's got red cardinals. Are they all red cardinals? Cardinals. I think they're all red. Anyways, I'm not a bird person, obviously, but I like them. So this is a cute little snow globe and um, Curtis's grandmother loves cardinals, like love, love, loves them. And she and I've seen other people post about this kind of thing too online that when a cardinal visits you, it's like um, someone from heaven sending you a message, which I think is really cute. And they lost their son last year to cancer. And he, like he was an older man, but um, anyways, this to nanny is Brian. So I'm gonna give her this for Christmas and it was, $3.99 and I know it will mean so much more than $3.99 to her so and Grammys and Grampies are really hard to buy for but this is just sweet just a sweet snow globe um, I bought this and Curtis laughed at me <laughs> he's like why did you buy that I don't know the renovation made me do it I was thinking I was gonna use it in the bathroom Curtis thinks it looks like a craft that somebody made at school, but I said to him, could you make me one like this? And he laughed and said, no. And I said, okay, then I'm glad I bought it. Um, $2.99 for this. And my plan was to paint it um, white, like I painted the cupboards in the bathroom, but I think I wanna paint it purple now and put it somewhere else because it doesn't really fit in the bathroom. So I'm still gonna use it. It's gonna be cute. I'll show you what I do with it in a vlog sometime when I'm um, productive and do something with it. <laughs> it's just cute, right? I don't know. Why not? You could put like face cloths in it, something else, I don't know. I think this is the last thing since I'm not showing you something from Kim or for Kimber. Um, this, was $5.99, I don't even know. It says made in Italy, oh cute. Um, Caro Monte, anyways, can you see that? Maybe it's like super nice and like a good brand or something because it is really pretty. Um, this is gonna be for Curtis's mom. She loves these little things and Winnie plays with her little things like this at her house. So I thought this would be perfect for Winnie to give her for her birthday, which is very soon in August. So that is for my mother-in-law. And that's it, friends. I think for this time. There will be more. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys still love me even though I talk weird. Um, there will be more where this came from because I need a lot of therapy, okay? <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, yeah, there's gonna be more of these and I will see you again very soon. Um, I don't know what will be up next, if the bathroom will be done first or if it'll be a vlog or who knows, this channel's just for fun now. So I will see you guys again very soon. Love you guys, see you next time, bye.